Assalamu alaikum. Good evening and welcome to this very special program tonight, uh, Community Champions, uh, with me, Zakir Khan. Um, tonight we are speaking to uh, founders, members, supporters, well-wishers of the British Bangladeshi Who's Who. Um, as you know, Afnashawaz and the British Bangladeshi Who's Who is a publication that for the public a publication for the Bangali community of the of the success and achievements of British Bangladeshis in Britain. Um, now, without further ado, let me introduce you to my guest, and then we can start the the conversation. Now, on my far right, I have a very well known, very uh, popular face, Mr. Sufi Mia, who is the managing director of ATN Bangla, and also a property tycoon. I'm not sure why from Tycoon, but assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum salam, Sufi. How are you? I'm okay. You okay? Yeah. Next to Sufi, uh, another very familiar face in our community, uh, Mujibul Islam. Now, Mujib is the managing director of Media Link and also the event manager for Who's Who. That's right. Mujib, how are you? I'm fine, thank you very much. You okay? Fine. Great. Okay. On my immediate left, uh, we have actually everyone's very familiar here tonight. Yeah? <laughs> <laughs> another very popular face in our community. Uh, a very successful politician as well, Councillor Aisha Chaudhary from London Borough of Neum. She's also the, the Mayor of Advisor uh, to Sir Robin Wells. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Afna Dashuk Sruta Shobaike. Thank you. Welcome to your show. Thank you very much for inviting me. You're welcome. And my final guest is none other than the founder of British Bangladeshi Who's Who, the editor, uh, Barrister Shadat Karim. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. How are you? Alhamdulillah, Shadat, how are you? You okay? <laughs> very well. I think everyone else is very distinguished, but except for me. So. <laughs> I think you're probably the most distinguished in the, <laughs> from the panel. Now, we as Afna Shabbat and British Bangladeshi, who's who, actually like a Bangali community, that uh, I would say, uh, what's the word? What can we say? It's, you know, uh, probably the, the most significant um, publication in the community, like, because it's a, you know, it shows the talent, the success, the achievement of the community that I see over the years in Great Britain. And what better way to celebrate our achievement than the, this publication? It's been running for the last seven years, and this year it's actually on the 13th of November, which is this coming Thursday in Alexander Palace. What a fantastic venue. Much Absolutely. We've been there the last three years, and uh, every year we find it. Well, uh, such an interesting venue with so much to do. Every year you can change the theme, and you can make it look different. I love the venue. You've seen the, um, um, the space where we have the drink reception area. Mm -hmm. Wonderful place to do an event. It is, yeah. isn't it? Now, Shadow, I know we've asked this many times, many shows. The British yeah. Bangladesh who's who. Uh, let's talk about it one more time. Yeah. Why? Before I get to why, just sticking with Alexandra Palace, uh, the reason why, I mean, there are many... You just said why. <laughs> 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 right. so. The reason why um, we, pick, we pick Alexandra Palace, I mean, there are loads of venues across London, yeah. but Alexandra Palace is quite an iconic venue. Absolutely. Um, and it's quite historic as well. And yeah. the way we look at this publication is we, we'd like to think that it's quite iconic and quite historic as well. So that's why we think the two go very nicely together. Go hand in hand. That's exactly, right. precisely. Okay, now why? Why? Okay. Um, I think the answer to that is quite simple. Like you said, this um, is something which showcases the achievements of Bangladeshis in Britain. Mm -hmm. okay? So we're an ethnic minority community, and often ethnic minorities get forgotten. Their work, their commitments, their integration gets forgotten, especially during these times when immigration, immigration, immigration is everywhere. So we thought we'll do something which promotes our community, but also showcases that we are as much of Britain as any other person mm -hmm. or a, any other community. And that's why it's called the British Bangladeshi Who's Who, as opposed to just a Bangladeshi Who's Who. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, and of course, it also creates positive role models for our younger generation and so forth. Absolutely. Now, yeah. Sufi, now, uh, you are, you're obviously, you're in the publication yourself, yeah. and you are a, f you know, a former Award winner. Yeah, it's the same year. You, you actually got your award yeah, as I'll well. Yeah, I'll come back to that later. <laughs> I'm talking about you now. Yeah, okay. yeah. Now, tell us, uh, you know, you're in media. You, are, you host your own program, on, on a, your own show. Now, do you think or do you believe a publication like this does actually help to profile okay, well, individuals? Um, well, it does. And I, I really believe that. And that's why I'm here tonight um, s supporting Who's Who. As I said last time, Who's Who has become like a part of the family to me now. 
So I'm, I'm here to help. What, the whole 240 no, people? No, 240, I'm <laughs> just uh, as an actual organization, yeah. yeah. And I think it does help. Uh, as you said, I do a show on my own channel um, about business talk. So it does help because you can find out the person who does who. And I think that's the most in interesting about this book. Um, if, I, if I was to know about you, uh, I always knew Jackie Khan, uh, you know, he works in the Canary but there's a lot of things you can learn from that. Then Kitak also, you know, nitty details, those kind of stuff. And every successful people have negative and positive life, and I think in who's who has that. And that's, okay. that's the most beauty of it. Yeah. Thank you. I'll, I'll come back to you. Yeah. Now, uh, Councillor Aisha Chaudhary, I believe that you've actually been attending the who's who gala dinner and launch since inception is that true absolutely absolutely i know this young man uh, beside me um, well he is a very reputable a barrister but i know him as a young person son of our um, good friend goni mm -hmm. um, first of all i would like to say i'm really proud that a young man like himself has got involved no, uh, on such, such something is this very prestigious. And as it has been explained that who is doing what in our community, mm -hmm. it's not an easy job uh, if you want to find out about someone. But when you have got one of these um, book on your shelf, mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's really easy. You can get in touch with 240 people. Absolutely. Easily and uh, very quickly. So it's, it's in terms of business, I think, it is uh, something excellent for anybody and everybody. But wh why do you think it's, you know, you've attended all the, you know, the celebrations? I have been attending, launch. one, I love all these parties, but it's not just <laughs> the celebration. That's good enough. Uh, <laughs> it's not just the celebration, but as I think uh, Shahadat Karim or the team of Who is Who is, is part of my family as okay. well. And this is the main reason. Um, I feel like the moral support, mm -hmm. um, if there is anything I can do, I feel privileged and proud to be part of this family. You know what, that's a very good point actually, Shadot. It's not, all, it's, it's not always about financial support, is it? It's the moral support. Absolutely. You know, sometimes you can have all the finances, but if you don't have the like life too. Yeah, li <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> if you don't have the likability, yeah. or if you don't have the moral and emotional support, it won't get off the ground. Mm -hmm. So, you know, look at the rocket which, um, uh, you, you know, in recent weeks, Absolutely, yeah. the rocket which blew up. I'm sure you had millions. Millions in this one, yeah. But it, it just goes to show that sometimes finance alone isn't enough. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, and but it, have does not, it does not mean that you can go ahead without the finance. No, no, no. Finance, no, is, very finance is necessary. Because finance is necessary. Yes, absolutely. It's one of the key ingredients. It's like a cake, you know, mm -hmm. there are many ingredients. Mm -hmm. yeah. Finance is one, but moral support, for example, shown by all four of you this evening, uh, is probably as valuable as any financial support. Well, I, I've, I've been saying this for a few months now, that the British Bangladesh Who Is Who, in my opinion, is a publication that is supported by the whole community. Yeah. It's not, you know, um, something that's just been done by one individual. Yeah. It's the whole community that Definitely. supports it, and <laughs> it's part of this. So, would you agree to that, Mooj? Absolutely. I mean, just echoing what Subhubai said earlier, um, That's the first. <laughs> well, um, in right. terms of, we, we have a lot of people that we know, friends that we sometimes um, hang around with, but you don't really uh, know about the details of their lives in terms of what they do, in terms of the profession, because you don't tend to ask these kind of questions. Of course, yeah. So there are people that you meet pretty much all the time in your social circle, but you don't really know the full details of their, of their lives. A publication like this actually uh, gives you information which when you find out, uh, it, it can be quite surprising. And I've, I've known quite a lot of people, and I've known them for a long, long time. And when I found out uh, and read about them, I was f taken back by them. And just to give you an example, there's somebody who is a prominent uh, person in our community. And I knew this chap for years and years, and been very good friends with him, until the point when he sent his um, uh, nomination in last week. Mm -hmm. And I was shocked to find out he was the son of uh, this particular that chap. Yeah. Oh, well, okay. And uh, it just goes to show that these, a book like this can be very, very useful and very helpful. Absolutely. Yeah. Now, Sufi, coming back to you, um, as a businessman, let's, you know, again, do you think you know, the Who's Who publication is very you know, it's useful for a reference point? Yes, to find out is. other people in the you know, community doing for a similar, similar business thing. as you? Yeah. Yeah, it, it does happen. I'll just g give you a little example about myself. Uh, 2011, I won it on the Who's Who, and I went actually in your, my childhood place in Camden, because uh, I don't go that often, that places. And then I went and said, oh, you know, you've seen about Who's Who, you know, you had that success and everything. Okay. So it was nice to hear about that kind of thing. So I mean, you know, every person in this book, so they're successful people. 
they have like you know positive thing for us to learn and when I was in Chicago, I think you know some people doing good some people doing mega, you know better than others yeah. so you know so I think it, th this books is good and I think uh, as I always say about Shadow uh, uh, you know and he, to his dad um, basically this you know it's a wonderful um, you know the organization like who's who and it's a borrow word that you know I think you know the creative concept uh, Shadow was saying earlier that it's not always about the money, it's also about being creative, having that, coming up with some really clever ideas. Mm. Um, the Who's Who publication is just one uh, aspect of what we do. Uh, the Who's Who now has a, an award, as you know, for the last five or six years. In the first year, we didn't have an award, then we realized that we need to do something better. There mm. are people in this publication who have been exceptional. Uh, especially every year, I mean, you have people who uh, need to update their profile, they've achieved or they've moved on in life, so we have a publication that comes out every year. But we now have up to about six to seven uh, different uh, awards that we give out every year, and this, these are significant awards to respect and show our appreciation. I'm going to come back to the award later on. Which sure. uh, I'm just going to go, go back to Shadot. Again, I think what really fascinates me, Shadot, uh, about this publication is this is not just about people who've made money. Yeah. Yeah? We don't measure people who just you know, become rich yeah. and millionaires. It's also about people who actually give time to the community, you know, who, are, you know, who are dedicated, committed people in our community for various... Yeah, exactly. Uh, I mean, look, when you think of like, the most uh, famous people in history, in, in, in recent history, when you think of Einstein, Mahatma Gandhi, they weren't millionaires, were they? Mm. But they had obviously contributed immensely Absolutely. to society. Yeah. Likewise, in our publication, not everyone's a millionaire. There are some. I'm not going to name any. Let's not name anyone <laughs> live on TV. <laughs> yeah, there are some millionaires. We don't want to expose after them. <laughs> there are some. Which is also very positive. Yeah, of course. Know, I mean, it's difficult to make money, and there are people that absolutely, are extremely absolutely, well. oh, precisely, precisely. Uh, and they may also make a huge contribution to our community. Oh, certainly, yes. I mean, people who've made money. Um, of course, they've done very I think, well. I think society at large needs this balance. I don't think. Absolutely. I'm not going to say that. I'm not going to say that. I'm not going to say that. You know, the best thing is, a lot of the people who've made money in there are also contributing immensely through community, charity, voluntary, philanthropic work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's another side that, mm. like uh, someone said earlier, I think, that sometimes we know someone, but we don't see what work they're doing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But this gets to show you what other work yeah, that they're doing. But as, as I was saying, yeah. Then attack from other attack community something like that. Balance the heart. Absolutely. So I'm not millionaire of the heart. Shabur the heart. Community activist of the heart. I'm not politician of the heart. Kida koi nothe. Community is shabana shor the heart asse. Aar aar ekta zinish positive asse. Zee i publication theki zee ekta. I'm not example ishab be be bar kortam farmu. I'm not young generation dekhta farba zee. Oh, thain oh oh ham korson kori. Thain famous hoyson ba thain well known hoyson dekhe hoy book kor mal mazhe in thain nam dukan hoy se. So why can't I do something to get into it as well? Aar Awards are secreted or by the publication was the Nam Utsese. It's Amahasa Lagicta huge Ekta Bia Parase. So I'm on a young generation Lagicta Bira Tecta. But that's a valid point, you know. How do we now, okay, as, as a community, how do we aspire the next generation to, to you know, to see this publication as something for them to be involved in or to be, you know, to see themselves in in the years yeah. to come? Are we, are we actually attracting the young people? Uh, well, can can I just say, sorry, sorry. Yes. Uh, yeah. imagine this book was in Bengali or some other language. It would have been very difficult for our young people mm. to, to, to even understand what, uh, yes, some uh, very nice pictures there, uh, but what is it saying? But when it's in English, First of all, is, is, I mean, if I take one of these books with me, my, my, my children, I'm expecting them to have a look at least right. w what it is saying. So obviously, first of all, the language is very important. And uh, then the team who is working behind this um, publication, I'm sure they are very um, talented experts with lots of uh, knowledge. And I'm sure every day they are yeah. making improvement and making some changes. But going back to my point, now, yes. are we actually, are we, um, reaching out to the younger generation because well. for example let me give a quick example the awards you know the publication gala Dina that i have been to last two or three it's always been about the people who are in the publication mm. some of them do bring their families and children most just turn up on their own now are we actually reaching the younger generation well firstly just touching on what Councillor aisha has said um the language is critical Mm. Okay, English is, is the reason why we've done it in English. One is, is most, the most accessible language for not only our youths, but also for other mainstream communities. Mm -hmm. 
if um, the Foreign Commonwealth Office, I believe, uses this publication, from my understanding. Now, if it's in Bengali, it would be difficult for them to use it. They'll have to get it translated and so forth. Yeah. Um, so that's one thing. Secondly, I sincerely believe that the younger generation are inspired. I mean, look, I'm not just saying this because you three are here and, and you're here, but I'm sure there are many young men who look up to three of you and many young women who look up to you and think, you know, if he could do it from Camden, I can do it. If he can do it from Stepney, I can do it. If he can do it from Canary Wharf, I can do it. That's right. if, he can, if she can yeah. do it from Beckton and yeah. Newham, why can't I? Absolutely. Okay? And that has to be mm. an inspiration. Mm. Absolutely. But my question, Sufi, is what Shadow said is absolutely true. Yeah? He can talk about the Barish training. The question, <laughs> is, question is, are we as a community, yeah. Amra, are we reaching out to the young people? Faram Amra. Well, I'm not sure about uh, whether personally who is it, but I'm not going to one achievement as any. Like mm. We give a lot of achievement to a lot of community award, who's who award, you know. So I'm not sure what Shadow actually, the, the aim. I haven't seen, obviously, any kids are going to, I think it's because of the evening party. Mm -hmm. But uh, saying Aisha for the, taking the book home, and that actually, you know, even my son, nine years old, he will read wherever he can read. And that kind of thing, this will slowly, slowly interact to our Okay, let, let me change my question uh, then. Mm -hmm. How do you reach out to young people? Then? I think this publication is already doing that. And in, in, in years to come, it will grow in size. The younger generation generally are quite hard to reach, mm -hmm. purely because um, they're more engaged in you know, so other activities, Next uh, group, yes. uh, sports activities and yeah. so on. But we do try. I mean, if you, um, this year, for example, to learn, we've got lots of young people who've entered. And um, I can't reveal much because uh, the event's on, on the 13th. Yeah. But you, you'll get to find out a lot of the people who, who have entered this year are, are, the, are younger people. Um, naturally, I mean, You'll, see, uh, you'll, you'll become successful at a particular age. Mm. So hence the reason a publication like this will have more uh, people from that particular generation. But it is changing, and it's actually an inspirational publication. Mm. The whole idea uh, for this publication is to inspire the younger generation, like what Charlotte said earlier. Uh, and I'm, I'm very confident our children, when they grow up, um, and this publication will be double or triple the size. No, absolutely. But in yeah. Can I just add yeah, yeah. that? I mean, um, in terms of if you are, if your question aim uh, at like young children or family attending the event, I think th there are a number of things. One, the event is in the evening. Uh, two, um, quite loud music. So for, for children, for babies, I'm not too sure if it's, it's, it's that mm, friendly yeah, kind of atmosphere. Yeah, exactly. yeah. But, yeah. but, well, but in terms of reaching let's, out let's information let's to the young let's people... Let's forget the gala dinner first. Yeah. I mean, for aside yeah. from the gala dinner, uh, yeah. what we've done to try and reach out to the, yeah. to the youth yeah. is firstly, we have an online uh, website with the okay. entire publication. Absolutely. Now we know the kids or the children of this generation, they're always on the iPhone okay. on, yep. or whatever. Okay, so they can access this without having to access the book. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Second thing is, um, when we award people, we look at which individuals have achieved a lot in that year, but also have a wide reach. So, for example, without giving any, anything away, yeah. this year we're awarding a sports personality. Yeah. And other young people who are engaged in sports will think, he's won an award, so why can't I follow his footsteps mm -hmm. and go one mm -hmm. step further? Yep. Or we give someone in the fashion industry an award, example, right? Or education. So, or education, yeah. So young people who are into fashion, they'll think, he's done it in fashion, so I can do it in clothing and fashion or whatever. So that's how we try and reach out by, you know, rather than just giving it to everyone who's in one segment or sector, yeah. we give it to various se people from various sectors and stuff. Yeah. So that's Plus it's the options as well, that the, the different categories you have, um, it gives them the idea that, oh, there, there are many other options apart from what I am thinking or what I'm doing. I can go out and reach um, mm. to different levels and different... Also, a yeah, lot, lot, lot of young people, they see this book as a book of success. So when you're young, you still think I've got a long way to go mm. because, um, I mean, unless you're highly talented or gifted, um, at a particular age, if you're under 20, you still got a long way to go. So a lot, lot of the people who are successful tend to be slightly older than uh, oh, the young people. No, that's Hence that's the yeah. reason why there's most really less. But we were definitely, what Shadow said earlier, we're definitely uh, going the right way in terms of having an online uh, version of the publication. And maybe in the future, we may even have an app which you can download mm. and, and go through, through uh, mm. publication. No, no, no I, I totally agree with you. But, uh, you know, I, th I think, again, what, what I was trying to probably address is this is a fantastic publication you know everyone in this book should feel privileged but the younger generation should know that there is a book out there yes well, of, I, uh, think, success I think I think slowly, slowly people tend to know who's I mean uh, for my example I mean 
Um, I never used to hang around in Tower Hamlet area. I mean, mainly. I'm going to stop you there. I don't want you to hang around anymore. Wait, <laughs> yeah. we'll take a break. Uh, please view us. Uh, we're taking a view, uh, break at the moment, so please join us after the break, and we'll continue this fantastic discussion. And uh, hopefully, you'll learn more about the British Bangladeshi who's who and the event coming up on Thursday. So, see you after the break. Welcome back uh, to this special community champions tonight. We are talking about the British Bangladeshi Who's Who 2014, um, which is uh, on the 13th of November, this coming Thursday, in the fantastic Alexander Palace. Um, now, we were talking about young people. We were talking about aspiration, inspiring young people. That's great, you know. You've touched on online, you've touched on other way, means of you know, engaging them. Now, let's talk about the actual event itself, the yes. awards. Yeah? Now, every year, the Who's Who publication or Who's Who Bangla Mira team mm. selects a group of people from our community, yes. acknowledges them, recognizes their success. Now, again, why is that important to award people? Well, look. Firstly, the publication itself is a recognition of 240, 50 people every year. Mm. But out of those 240 or 50 people, we always select six or seven individuals we, who we think have in that particular year excelled beyond you know, what the others perhaps have done. Um, so we focus on that given year, not what you've done 20 years ago, although that may be a relevant factor. Because okay. if obviously, right. if someone's historically done well and they continue to <coughs> do well, then obviously that, that may be a factor. But mm -hmm. there was a, just a different element to the gala event. You know, sometimes these events, I'm not saying our one, but these events can become a bit boring and repetitious and tedious. Yeah. Whereas this creates some anticipation. So every year people will come and say, uh, right, okay, you know, this and that. You know, it just yeah, yeah, creates yeah. another aspect. You know, and then on the night people see and then they get to hear these stories about these wonderful individuals, male and female. It just creates another edge, I think. I, 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 just, I like the way Shad that, um, just uh, explained himself that Batiza. <laughs> Show what Batiza is. I'm not Batiza. Now, which, again, the, the award, award itself, um, you know, over the years, many people have been awarded or recognized for their talent, for their achievement. But again, do you think this is another way of um, encouraging other people to say, well, hold on, Sufi's got an award for whatever he's, you know, he's done. You both have. I'm, <laughs> <laughs> you both have I'm doing organized. similar work to Sufi, yeah. uh, if not more. How do I get myself recognized? Do you think that, you know? It's definitely inspiring, without a doubt. And um, people who have won awards, um, it's, it's in a way, uh, like I said earlier, it's respecting these people who have achieved, who have worked hard. There are people who have won awards for different reasons, not only just on business. Uh, uh, I mean, a, a range of people have won the awards. And, uh, and, and we feel quite... Uh, privilege that we've had the opportunity to find these people but the awards have been inspirational it has encouraged others and every year we get a huge amount of recommendation from many many not people who are nominated in this publication if, if we can consider them so it goes show that award is a quite an important part of, mm. the, of this publication and uh, it is definitely um, helped uh, um, the the actual who's who uh, uh, publication in terms of getting it more recognized, um, getting it the credibility that it deserves. 
Um, I've got Sushi Bhai next to me and uh, I can assure you uh, the difference that it's made in his life has been quite significant. And, and the awards does get people recognised, it gives them uh, more leverage and, uh, and, and, and they have excelled in their lives. Well, since I've got him next to you, let me ask yeah. him then. Mm -hmm. Sufi. Well, he did basically. I mean, you know, I, I, I didn't actually know about who's who. Before the break, this is what I was going to say. In 2011, 2010, I had about who's who. So, you know, who's who book or what was like, maybe you should give your name on that book. Because, you know, every family have, if you achieve something, they're proud of you. And, uh, and I, I'm, I believe my family are proud of me, what I have achieved on, on, my, yeah. you know, on my age. And so, but luckily enough, I actually met Mujib by in, um, in 2000. <laughs> You're very lucky, yeah. <laughs> 2000, 2011, I think we were going Hodge. And I talked about, you know, we, we got to know each other from the plane, and, uh, and, and we, you know, we spent a whole month. So after we came back from Hodge, we went to each other's house, and, and he said to me, you know, uh, I, do, he, I didn't even know he, did, he does who's who. So he mentioned about who's who. I go, oh, I had about this name. What's that? So he explained to me. I said, oh, um, and then he said, uh, give me your details, and I'll put your name on the nominee. And I mean, I showed to Butch and I remember not looking at this. And then he actually done my public, you know, the write up, what to show the profile there. And I was made, I mean, in his report, like, so he lied about you. <laughs> no, he didn't, he didn't lie about, about you know, because they know how to write the nice way and uh, put the right I'll tell you what, you know, out of two million people, yeah. you know, going to Hajj, you were very lucky to bump yeah. into Mujib. Yeah. <laughs> and um, no. sorry, I'll just quickly finish yeah. up. So, so I came in and I went to the show, and luckily enough, I got, I got the award. And, and I, you know, I'm lucky I didn't actually meet you on that night. I saw in the screen. So, <laughs> and uh, from that actually, it motivated me. You know, and, and I, today, I mean, first show, I think I went to the stage to get the uh, award. I couldn't even speak. I was shaking. And I, was, I came out down at the bottom, and I said to him, I said, did I make myself full? He said, no, no, you say from, you actually talk from your heart. And today, alhamdulillah, I'm, I'm, I actually do present to show. So it, it shows you confidence. how much confident, confidence. it gives you confidence. Yeah. Uh, you know, and, um, and, and you always want to achieve more. Uh, you know, like it's never ending. So I think this book, and this, uh, so there's so many uh, achievements in our community. And I think for me, this is one of the top one. And, yeah. uh, and, and that's, that's why I've always, uh, you know, say the right thing to, I say thank you to his dad and him to bring this, uh, you know, um, the award ceremony of that. I'm not a community on achievement. I'm not, this, you know, every achievement is good for our community. It motivates every, every angle. Yeah, so, you yeah. know. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I, I think, um, I think I'm coming to you now. For, um, again, it's an award on the Diram. Every year on the Select Horram. Uh, people of our community that are, we've been in no category. That are successful so on. Mm -hmm. a business, a sports, so you know, I don't know, academic, whatever. Again, Afna, I mean, how do you see this? You know, is an individual. I think first job? of all, it's really hard. It's a hard job to select mm. because in our community, in terms of achievement, I mean, I'm really proud to be a British Bengali. Um, in our community, people are hardworking. They do work hard um, to achieve in their life. And uh, previously, we have talked about uh, millionaires. Uh, that is, <laughs> I think, who is who but is getting so famous that right. some other, yeah, not human, but other. I'm inviting guests to take. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, uh, wh where I was? Um, oh, I would, I would. Yes, so it is quite hard to choose uh, the right person because it's not that shortage of right people, but we have got too many right people in our list. Um, so, especially, I mean, if I, I, I am asked to sit on many different panels, but I hesitate because I don't really like. It is a hard job, and mm. I would like Selecting to say a big course. thank you to the team who are working behind the scene. Uh, it is hard, but the, the, the selection, they, they are doing an excellent job. I think I'm, I'm really proud of all the people who are in the Absolutely. In the I think I've been through the, um, the, the, the names and the, the awardees from the previous years. And I think each person that's been in the book so far. Absolutely. And again, it's not necessary that you have to be a doctor, barrister, or mm. engineer to be included in this list. Uh, you can be anything and everything, but you have achieved something extraordinary that we don't achieve uh, on our day-to-day -day life. And many people who are watching tonight, maybe if they are interested, they can be part of this book as Absolutely. well. No, I mean, this year is too late, but next year, next year, year it is. I'm, I'm sure the team will welcome um, all, the, all the information. Yes. And it's quite easy. Do you want to talk about about yeah, how to get in, in yeah. included. I mean, how do you nominate yourself? You can self-nominate or a family member, friend, um, colleague, someone else can nominate you. Yeah. And it's on our website. It's, yeah, it, I mean, our community, um, we are a very modest community. You know, we don't like showing off. We don't like bragging. So sometimes people are a bit reluctant. They don't realize that they've achieved something. Mm. If that's the case, 
is get a friend, a family, someone, you know, you might know someone, just nominate them. It's straightforward. Every year we have nomination forms on the website, yeah. mm -hmm. yeah. in our newspaper, Bangalore Mirror and so forth. Just complete it, send it to us. We have a dedicated panel who every year sit through hours and looking through all the nominations and sifting out the ones that we feel should feature in this year's publication. Likewise for the awards, uh, like you said, you know, we have 240 people and e every one of them is worthy of winning an award. Yeah. And if we could, mm -hmm. we'd give 240 awards. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, it's not practical. Yeah, yeah. But I, th I think the other thing, Shadot, is um, like uh, you said, that I'm not communicating with both Manusha Swain. There are, man, both do not have horror. Fantastic job, horror. And it's not so But they feel, I vote for Ekita Orta, I vote for Ekita Show Off. Ekita Lager, I mean, I'm bragging. It's not bragging, though, is it? No, plus, no, no. Zara genuinely ham horinani. Tara award for all lagi are not lagi horror. Absolutely. Zara genuinely horror. So, if you realize how good job they're doing, so in that case, Zara actually genuine ham horror, Tara Nimul Onozone, Zara lagi horror, Zara dehra, hen nominate for Like I said, we all know, we all have a family member, relative, neighbor who we know just does that extra money. Of all it takes is for them to complete the form and send it on their behalf. Yeah. Whether they win an award or not is something not in your hands. It's something which the panel will decide. Yeah. And if on the night they, they find out that they've won an award, I'm sure no one will be upset by that. Yeah. No, of course. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I just want to add something. Um, I'm not sure Shad will be doing this or not. Because they're not like carry award. I'm not trying to make the same level. Like basically the media is campaigning and they nominate the last draft. So basically it will help from there as well. And mm. As I said before, like everyone comes to this party, this, uh, they're all prestigious people and show boy award winning mm. position, yeah? So, you know. You know so you're campaign. saying, well, like some kind of campaign? Campaigning, yeah, yeah. And oh. again, who's who's been for seven years, you said, yeah? Mm. So everyone mm. knows in our community who's who. When yeah. they are get to low profile, they're going to have to go to the Of course, yeah. yeah oh. the, the newspapers, uh, as well as on the website, the nomination forms are available. So it's quite uh, widely available. Uh, maybe we need to highlight it more, maybe we need to publicize it more, but because I'm just, sorry, I'm just talking about not for the local people, we're talking about the whole United Kingdom. So, you know, when I was in, as I said before, I was in Ambishi Tawam I didn't even know what was, mm -hmm. was. so I'm just thinking of from those no, no, people. No, no, absolutely, but, 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 I, come, but come I've seen Tawamla. people in this publication, yeah, we're, we're the Bimane, from Scotland and Wales and, yeah, yeah. you know, yeah. all over UK. Yeah. Well, yeah. I was talking yeah. about three, four years ago, I mean, for myself, like, you know, I'll just give you a good example. Yeah, no. When Sophie Bay said earlier, we, we actually met when we went Hajj together in 2011. And um, we spent about, about 30 days uh, in Hajj and we got to learn a lot about each other. And when we came back, to be honest, when he said to me, um, You do Sue's Who, uh, we're involved in the gala dinner. Can you tell me a bit more about how I can get myself involved? When I actually started uh, talking to him about his profile, and the entire 30 days that we were together, I got to find out so much more about him when I was writing the profile. Basically, I didn't have to write anything. Yeah. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> and uh, even because it goes to show that until you put your profile together, you never really know that person, mm. even though I got to know so much about him. Mm. And it's people like Sufi Bay uh, who are undiscovered. And it's really nice to have people like him because they've got to wherever they've got to, from rags to riches. They go through a very difficult struggle in yeah, life of course, yeah. and they've worked and they've made themselves uh, from whatever uh, humble beginnings they've started from to wherever they are today and it's inspirational stories and stories like that actually really really help others when you said about younger generation it's people like Sufi Bai who had were very similar to them who had um, a dead-end job hmm. didn't have enough education yet found his way and today mashallah he's been very successful uh, now on the TV channel so because of him, he made me spending all the money. He did, I mean, as I said, that who's with Taki on Erzinish Baroya is someone like that, you know. I, I think yeah. it goes back yeah. to, again, it goes back to this publication. A publication, I'm not Bangali, British Bangali community, they have to identify. Of course, yeah. Who are we? I'm not here. Because I remember a couple of years ago when I went to Huzu, I was actually getting ready to come to the, the gala dinner. Um, I'm, uh, my daughter was only five or six then, yeah? And she said to me, where are you going? I said, I'm going to the British Bangladeshi who's who. She said, okay. And then she said to me, are you going to eat there? And mm -hmm. we said, yeah, okay. most likely. Anyway, as I was leaving, my wife shouted from the back, said, are you going to eat? Are you coming back? To, are you going to have dinner at home? And my daughter said, no, Abba's going to, who are you? <laughs> 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 He's going to eat at the, who are you? Yeah. Right? So, uh, but she's right, though. Yeah, exactly. who, are, who, who are you? The British <laughs> Bangladeshi community, you know? Yeah, yeah. Now, Afar, coming back to you. Um, 
I'm not a publication, I'm just saying we do have a, a good number of uh, inclusion of women. Right, and the female, yes. female uh, inclusion, I said, but I think this still needs to be done. Yeah, no, uh, never, never ending process. Yes, absolutely. No, as long as uh, at the beginning, I would say lots of uh, female were included, which is something really good, um, mm. including myself. Uh, <laughs> you <laughs> uh, <everywhere but>, though. <laughs> that's right, yeah. yeah. Uh, but no, obviously, we need to have uh, more, more women. I mean, um, if you talk about politics or some other um, top jobs, it is, women are struggling to get into um, that positions. Uh, it does not mean that they have a lack of experience, knowledge, or qualification, but we women are struggling. We, mm -hmm. women, we have to work three times harder than you to be in the same position. This is, is the truth. Even th in this exactly. day and age. <laughs> of course, Would you yes. agree to that? It, yeah. Yeah. You, 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 have to agree. you have to agree. You have to agree. You have to agree. Especially at the top jobs, it's, it's quite difficult, challenging. Okay. Um, and, and, and it's true, though. Um, because, of, I mean, equal opportunity. We do talk about equal opportunity, but are we equal? No, not really. Mm -hmm. um, even the barristers, I am look, sure. I think uh, the reality is um, that our mothers, sisters, aunts, they do an immense job. Of course. Yeah. When I touched on earlier that we're a very modest, modest community, our mothers, sisters, and aunts are even more modest. Mm -hmm. okay? So even those who are stay-at-home mothers, they do a very um, amazing job. Yeah. Okay? Mm -hmm. But um, as I said, because the women are quite modest and quite shy, they don't want to put themselves forward. And this is where we need people around them to encourage them. We have, I'm sure, loads of... We need more people like... Well, Aisha, precisely, don't we? precisely. Yeah, precisely. I mean, not, I mean uh, as Shahadatta has been saying, that uh, some of the housewives, I would say, um, housewife, when we say housewife, it's something like we neglect, but in reality, they are the accountant, they are the barrister, they yeah. are the teachers, they are doing yeah, all of sorts and of things at home. home, and home. As well. mm. No, no, I'm not talking no, about the that, that. No, it's true. Yeah. But what I meant is some of the mothers, they, do, they may not have um, the highest qualification. Yeah. They may not be doing any job outside. Mm. But at home, they have to do the calculation that the That's budget right. they have. Mm. Yeah, can, yeah. They, can they um, do the shopping yeah, and everything for the whole? whole yeah. You, whatever profession you have, you have got weekend, you have got... Um, no, can, I, can I ask you something a bit more personal? Please, then? Yes. How do you balance? Um, your public I life, your council life, your mother, your wife, and how, how do you do it? <laughs> yeah. I am a superwoman. I mean, like <laughs> many, many You are a superwoman. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I am fortunate enough that I have a very supportive family. And not only me, there are many successful, all the successful ladies have got a uh, supportive family behind them, either husband, brothers, uh, father, or all together. You need to, don't you? Absolutely. Yeah. And same thing, I'm 100% I'm sure that you all are supportive um, husbands, brothers, and, and father. And yes. I would I know, like I to am. see. <laughs> so soon I would like to see your wife's eyes. My wife is watching them, definitely I am. Yes. <laughs> so we need some evidence. Um, the barrister will agree with me that unless we have evidence. But, but for going back to your question again, seriously, yeah. how, how many, you must have faced some kind of difficulties, obstacles, you know. No, always. You know, when you first started. I mean, even now, even now. Yeah. I mean, do, do you remember we were joking that uh, where who is sitting where? Uh, this is something part of my day-to-day -day, um, feeling, and I'm I'm quite sort of like now used to. Okay. Um, I'm, I'm I'm used to because in some places, say for example, if I'm not known to, doesn't matter if it's a wider community, if it is a selective community, mm -hmm. if I'm not known, I might be again looked at like oh housewife or or a mother. Um, she won't understand. She won't know. This is how people would treat. But once you know that, oh, she's a counselor, or not necessarily just counselor, a businesswoman or something, then they would treat you differently. And I would just smile that how people sort of like change their um, behavior. Of course, of course. Uh, but it's not okay. necessary. You should I, be I treated. Mean, I, I, I yeah, sure. I'm going to have to call us. Let me see. Call to a person. Hello, assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum salam. Assalamu alaikum salam. Wa alaikum salam. Who is this? Uh, basically, I've just, just followed your program. Yes. And I saw uh, the publisher, they, they, they uh, basically they, uh, published the book. It's a fantastic idea. But what, 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 what I like to see is, I have, I have a similar book, yeah? All, they should have all the crooked people in, in, in one book. That would be a fantastic idea if they did that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, all the all the councillors, all the all the power hundred men, you listen, know, listen, you listen. the whole lot. If they had the one crooked, that would be a fantastic idea. I'd love to see that. Okay. What's your name, brother? I'm calling from North from Jay. From? Jay Jay, North, North London. North London, Jay, thanks for your call. 
Thank you. <laughs> That's a very interesting concept. <laughs> now, I'm not sure, I, I don't think I can agree with you that all councillors and politicians are crooked people. That's not true, for a start. But the reality is, <laughs> The if, if, our <laughs> if our community wants to highlight all the bad people, all the bad eggs, then it's a shame on our community. It looks bad on us. But every um, community have negative and positive. Of course, values. of course. Absolutely. Of course. I, th I think I think it was more, you know, yeah. having a bad. I'm sure it's a joke. Yes, of course. But I'm. Yes. Yeah, so go. Um, explain the process of how this publication comes about yeah. and, and the whole format. I mean, a lot of people have asked us, "What is the who's who?" And how do you and uh, what is this gala dinner? Basically, every year we bring out the Who's Who edition, and um, and it's updated with profiles that are already in the publication, and we add also new uh, uh, entries. And usually, between this time every year, the publication is printed. Once the publication is printed, we launch the publication of, the, of that, that particular year's publication with the gala dinner. And during the gala dinner, we have roughly about 500 people that come for a nice meal. We have a bit of entertainment, lovely speeches, and then we have the award ceremony within the gala dinner itself. And we normally have between six to seven uh, awards that we give out, and these awards are for that particular year. And this happens every year. So that is the, the format. Mm. The publication itself, once you're nominated, a panel sits together and they decide if you are uh, acceptable to go into this publication. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Once you are, you're, you're notified, your photo is used, and your profiles are used and updated uh, on a regular basis. Listen, I've been saying this for, you know, for the last <coughs> few years now. In my opinion, uh, and not because I'm involved in this, but I think this is the, probably the, the biggest British Bangladeshi event of the year. Put Commun aside business. Community event. Community event, Definitely yeah. Process business, business event. Absolutely. I'm not, yeah. I'm not comparing it to any business event. Community event. I yeah. can't see anything bigger Absolutely. than the who's who every yeah. year. I mean, you can spend tons and tons of money, what Shah said earlier, uh, it's not always about the money. We, we do a gala dinner on a very tight budget, and we try and put it, all the elements uh, together, uh, and we also have people who support us, uh, and a lot of the sponsors that support mm -hmm. us, and, and because of them we're able to put this gala dinner together. Well, I, I had, last year I had um, someone very high profile from West Ham Football Club on my table. Yes. Now, he came thinking this is just another community event, you know, mm. it's going to be quite boring. But after the event, he said to me, wow, what was all this about? <laughs> I, c I didn't expect. As soon as he walked into the Alexander Palace, you know, the, 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 yeah, the, yeah. Uh, the holding area, he was like, wow, where am I? You know? <laughs> now, uh, if this could happen to him, I'm sure everyone else that walks yeah. through that door. Sadly, our community, uh, a lot of people have this perception of our community. When we do an event or when we put something together, it's going to be unstructured or not put, uh, it wouldn't be as organized or professional yeah, together. Because I'm not douche. Because we, we, over the years, no disrespect to anyone, but I'm either on an event organized for the Amda, that no structure, no organization, no professionalism. I don't know if you've got a thing that you've got to do, guest wise, and you've got to work for it. We're moving forward. Absolutely. Yeah, we're moving yeah. forward, and we, tr we yeah. try and maintain. A, a high degree of professionalism. So That's when cool. we say doors open at six, they it's open at 5:59. Actually, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's the way we try and do it. Um, and just like yeah, there are. I mean, the, in my view, yes, this is the biggest um, Bangladesh community event, British yeah. Bangladesh community event in our calendar. Um, and this publication, the unique thing about this is that these individuals who feature in this publication are very successful, but they remain in touch with the community, and that's yeah. the main thing. That's the fundamental thing, actually. Of course, because yeah. if we have someone in the Highlands in Scotland who's done very well but sits in on top of a mountain and never comes down, <laughs> so, <laughs> what, what is it doing for the community? Yeah. Very bad point, very bad point. Now, we have to take another break. Um, dear viewers, please uh, grab yourself a tea, coffee, a uh, drink, and please join us after the break. We'll be, be discussing the actual event on Thursday. What's going to happen on the event? Who's coming to the event? Are you coming to the event? We'll find out after the break.
Hello and welcome back to this final segment of Community Champions. Tonight we're talking about uh, the forthcoming British Bangladeshi Huthu Gala Dinner and Award Ceremony on the 13th of November in Alexander Palace. Now I'm joined by a new member on the panel, um, is Mr. Ashraf Talukdar, a, a very successful businessman, very successful I must say. Uh, welcome to your show, Ashraf Thank you, thank you for inviting. Now, this is precisely what the Hoosie is about, you know. Okay. Someone like Ashraf Bhai, who, alhamdulillah, is very successful in business over the many years, but never wants to be in, never wants their profile, never wants to be in the limelight. In terms of publicity. He doesn't want yeah. to, he just wants to be successful, and he's always supporting various initiatives in the community, not just in UK, but also in Bangladesh. But Muj, Exactly, this is what we're trying to... Yeah, spot on, that's what I was saying earlier. Ashraf Bhai has been in business for many, many years and he's a very successful business person, especially in Surrey, yeah. where he lives and has his businesses there. Very popular amongst even the... Curry, the curry one. King, is it in Surrey? He definitely, <laughs> he, he definitely is. Uh, in, in that particular re, uh, area, yeah. pretty much even the, the English people have a lot of respect for him. He's got a yeah. lot, a lot of activity, a lot of uh, so, social work, charitable work. And he's a well-known... Um, business person in that area. He has a, a list of uh, uh, restaurants, hmm. uh, uh, the property uh, business, a construction business, uh, various ranges of businesses. And I'm very surprised that he's not actually featured in the publication. So this year is going to be a first time for him and I hope he's going to carry on and every year he's going to carry on improving his uh, status and uh, updating the profile every year. Uh, Shabab, let me ask you, have you, have you heard of the British Bangladeshi Who's Who? Uh, yes, I have heard of the Who's Who's. And this is the first time I really got into it. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'll be honest, I always like to be low profile. I always <laughs> wanted to stay underground. Yeah. But this time, unfortunately, mm -hmm. got hold of like, he <laughs> <laughs> put me on to it. But you don't know what you're going to get into. But, uh, Ashabai, why do you, I mean, as a businessman, you know, I, I know you're also supporting this publication. Yes. Um, now, as a businessman, again, don't you think it's important people like yourself? Um, although I understand, you know, you, you don't do things for name and fame, you just find perfect, I understand. Perfect, perfect. But unless people like yourself come forward, how are we going to... Well, that's exactly right, and that's the reason uh, why I agree to go in. And mm -hmm. it's, I mean, I read this book, as I explained last time, I was in a Biman and a sitting on business class, nothing to do. Mm -hmm. And I asked them, have you got a magazine that you didn't have? And they bought me one of these who's who. And that's what I actually encouraged. I thought, that was nice. Then I got to know all these people, which I never, I see you know their face. Them, you? And I, then I seem <laughs> to know all of them. And I thought, that was a very good idea, you know, putting things this book and uh, just gets the people together. So this year, that's why I decided to sponsor and help. I thought that's encouraging and, you know, it's like when we leave, young generation will look at it and it does give you the inspiration to go up. That's great. What mm. a good point. Mm. He found out about the Who's Who on Biman Business Class. Mm. Yes. Hello? This was an initiative, funnily <laughs> enough, which we entered into last year, live yeah. on television. Someone had recommended to the Biman manager that why don't you, if you support this so much, put your money where your mouth is and put this on the Biman. And guess what? It's on the Biman. Mm -hmm. And in fact, now I believe it's in also in the VIP lounges as well. Okay. So, you know, when next time you're flying to Bangladesh, 9, 10, 12 hour flight, pick up one of these, read it. Go through every page. Exactly. It's, it's surprising how you can learn so much about someone in three or four hundred words, which is the limit that we have. Yeah. But did you know this? Yeah. Available in Biman now. Yeah, I, I, yeah. I, I mean, I do communicate with uh, Goni Bai regularly, so yeah, I do get information from. Yeah. What do you think of the idea of having? It's excellent. No, this Biman. is a, another privilege, something we can be proud of. And uh, if, while you are sitting on on Biman, you can find out about um, other active people, people in the community, who we should all know about. Mm. Excellent. Okay. When we say you know um, th these achievements are sky high, we mean literally sky high. Yes, it <laughs> is. <laughs> Absolutely. We're going to, uh, you know, we're flying in the sky now. We exactly. Would you, would you? Absolutely. I mean, just to quickly talk about also people who support this publication. Uh, without the sponsors, uh, to be honest, it would be very difficult to put 
especially the Gala Dina together. <laughs> and Ashraf, I just quickly touched on the fact that he's also supporting this. And it is very much people like him and the other sponsor that we have here uh, who have supported us. And uh, they make a very small, uh, they make a financial contribution. Uh, I wouldn't say small, but uh, because of their financial contribution, we're able to um, put the publication as well as the Gala Dina together. So I think uh, we need to thank them and also appreciate their support. Yeah, I think just touching on that, um, obviously the Gala Dinner is quite an expensive production, but there is another hidden cost which perhaps many of you people forget, and that's the book itself. Mm -hmm. You know, This book mm -hmm. is high quality, glossy, each book costs about five pounds approximately to print. Wow. We're printing about five thousand, so that's, mm -hmm. you did the math, that's, that's a, money that's a significant sum there. So our sponsors are a significant contributor without them, without the likes of Mr. Talukta and so forth. It f simply wouldn't be possible. But of course, there are other sponsors as well, the media sponsors. Mm -hmm. You may not give us anything but in terms of money, in kind. but the in kind, the, the pay payment in kind is something that we, is invaluable to us. Basically. Absolutely. Now, talking about sponsors, obviously an event of this nature, this calibre, is not possible to put on, especially in a venue like Alexander Palace. Right. Um, so, Mujib, you know, how fortunate, how lucky are we as a community that we do find generous people? I mean, we're, I'm, I'm, I'm very proud for, that I'm from this community and there are people who are willing and they come forward. Uh, you yourself has, have been extremely helpful and um, uh, we all know Zakiba, you're part of uh, Clearing Wolf Group and you've made a significant contribution and really lobbied for us. And this year Canary Wolf Group is, uh, is one of the main sponsors uh, for uh, the gala dinner and, and the publication itself. And there are many other sponsors, and uh, Shadow has named, uh, sorry, I haven't named them, but he said the media sponsors are also very mm -hmm. useful. And all of these people coming together uh, actually makes this work. Um, and like we t spoke about earlier, you do need money to print publications, to have the gala dinner. So it's critical that you know, we, carry, we have the support uh, and continuous support for everybody. I'm hoping the people who are on board this year, they'll carry on uh, being part of the journey for next year as well. The gala dinner itself, um, it's for one night, but it's actually a very, very expensive one night mm -hmm. because the venue itself is very expensive and all the catering and all the stage and decor, everything costs money. We do get uh, a preferential rates uh, because of the good work that we've done mm -hmm. with some of these people, but you still end up paying a lot of money. So um, we're, we're very fortunate to this community and we're very grateful. But the events are really qualitative. I mean, since yeah. I have been attending um, regularly. Improving every year. Every yeah. year. They're, they're improving every year, but they are qualitative. Um, yeah. the, the, all, all the participants are professional. Um, so obviously, if you are looking for quality, then, then, um, then it's pay going for to it. be expensive. Of and course. to be honest, I mean, a lot of people may not know this, yeah, but we actually started planning very, very early. As soon as we finished this event or this year's publication, we straight away will start working in the next years. And it, took, it takes us months and months of planning to do the, do the event. So uh, on a weekly basis, we meet and we discuss all the little details in terms of who will be doing what. So there's a lot of thought and thinking that goes into mm -hmm. this. Uh, as there are still room for improvements. Uh, we've had a, um, we regularly um, discuss issues uh, in the past that we need to improve on. And we are making these improvements, but it's definitely a, a, a really, really, uh, the platform that we're on at the moment, I, I believe that we're in a very strong position. All we could do is improve on it. Thank have you, you, been, have you sorry. been, sorry, one yeah. have you been to uh, a uh, Who's Who Gala event? I think long back ago, I have once. Uh, I was many years ago. Many years ago, but I haven't been for much. I had to go out somewhere. I just went for about half an hour, and I had another appointment. Okay. But unfortunately, I had, but I saw the grammars. But You're I'm, coming this year? I'm coming this year, and I'm really looking forward for it. And I had some feedback. Everyone says it's fantastic, the events, and it's organized, and you know. We've got some really good presenters as well. <laughs> <laughs> well that's right, yes. And I believe well, you are yeah. one of the <laughs> presenters. <laughs> 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 I'm one of the other presenters. Yeah. And I really think, you know, the guys who's doing like himself, Sadat and Kunibet, they should carry on. I mean, this is superb work, you know. And like ourselves, businessmen, everyone should help to it. It's like you told me how expensive five pound a book, five thousand, all adds up. Mm. No, everyone chips in, it helps. Maybe you can know, sponsor so. the publication next to the whole, <laughs> the whole the thing. The thing is, you know, it's, it's an important <laughs> point because um, all our sponsors, we firmly believe, actually mm. believe in this publication. They don't just sponsor it just for the sake of having their name in flashing light. Well, because sure, sure. well, because Gonyway's 
nagging them. <laughs> <laughs> all, all that, all that, all that. But, um, <laughs> yeah. but um, you know, they believe in the product. They believe that this is a good initiative. That's why they do. But I also can't leave this program without thanking people like both of you because everyone who's on the panel, on the Who's Who team, are all working individuals, working professionals. Mm -hmm. And they put all of that aside, take time out throughout the year, meet regularly and, and dedicate a lot of time to this publication. And honestly, it's just it's because of that kind of commitment that we can do it. Absolutely. And we believe, we believe in the product. And uh, <coughs> to be honest, um, since the inception of this I've never allowed you to do anything for free. This is the first time. It's probably the first time. It's not free. <laughs> 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 I'm, I'm, I'm <coughs> sure he's spending enough time and he won't have time for anything <laughs> else. <laughs> <laughs> he only charges us 5,000 an hour. <laughs> <laughs> That's his prefer <laughs> preferential <laughs> rate. <laughs> so, uh, um, Ashraf, why is going to be coming to this event this year? Yes. Yes. He's been to one many years ago, only for half an hour. Yes. What could we expect? Well, this year? inshallah, I mean, our events every year have improved. Okay. okay. Our first event, and you compare that to our last event or this current event, you'll see a massive difference. Mm -hmm. okay. We hope you enjoy it. And every year we're trying, you know, it's not just worrying about who goes in the book and who comes out. And okay. there's so much that we worry about, including the finer details of the event itself. Mm -hmm. So, inshallah, we expect those who attend to really be wowed and amazed because yeah. of the hard work that Media Link our presenters, uh, everyone else, the whole team, the caterers, the, the PA, mm -hmm. the sound, everyone has put together the and entertainers. For what, for what are you expecting this yeah, year? Yeah, no, I mean, uh, I, I, I would say um, I am expecting same as last year with little um, improvement because I think I was quite impressed with last year event okay. as well. So I won't be expecting too much. But I would say starting from the beginning of the event, before you go and sit down on your table, good networking opportunity Absolutely. that yeah. you don't get uh, that often. I mean, We're doing something different this year. Oh, all right. So it's, uh, it's a surprise. <laughs> OK, now I love surprises, yeah. <laughs> so I mean, look, the, the, if I am talking about last year event, I would yeah. say the networking was important. I mean, it's always important for me to meet not only new people necessarily, but people who you know, but you don't get the chance to meet, talk, of say course. hello. So it's an opportunity. And after that, when you are sitting on your table, you can relax and enjoy the event. Yes, obviously, you would be again surprised with the award, who is getting the award. It's, it's something you look forward to. Okay. Yeah. So also, you know, the and, and the cultural events as mm. well. And yeah. the food? Oh, food. I mean, I f how can I forget the food? <laughs> 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 no, always lovely food. Yeah, uh, lovely food. So, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. No. And the orga or organizing itself. Uh, obviously, you have been working hard uh, mm. for a long time to make the event a huge success. And, and um, we do enjoy ourselves. Thank you very much. Now, Mujib, not many Bangladeshi events are held in Alexander Palace. There isn't. I want to just go back to something yeah. that, uh, that Ashraf has just said. In response to um, the food, um, pretty much all the big events, um, the food and the catering are usually done by non-Bangladeshi caterers. We're so proud, and the whole British Bangladeshi, the whole public, the whole publication is all about supporting and uh, encouraging Bangladeshis, British Bangladeshis, and uh, we feel proud that literally the, all the elements of everything that we put together are either supplied by or the individuals who are so particip part participating mm. are, are British Bangladeshis. Our caterer is um, Eastern Pride, mm. and I'm, I'm honest, I'm very immensely proud of them because one, every single year they surprise us with amazing, amazing food and, and food that honestly really blow you away. And they're not the usual menu, they come up with some very, very creative stuff. And this is what this publication is all about. We find talent and we try and help them, support them and encourage them. And so there's so many small elements uh, in, in this gala dinner that, mm. ha that comes together. And we all gel together because we work as a team. That's, that's a very valid point, Shadot. We, we call ourselves the British Bangladeshi. And this is the British Bangladeshi who's who gala dinner event. Eh? Now, if we have the presenters not Bangladeshi, the caterer not Bangladeshi, <laughs> the event management not Bangladeshi, we'll yeah. be defeating the object. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Everyone from the person who presents the program to the person who puts the napkin on the table okay. is a British Bangladeshi. That's how, that's basically yeah. everyone we use. This is mm -hmm. something we should feel proud of, of course. as I mean, well. It, it, it would be a sad day if we are promoting the British Bangladeshi community and we're using non-Bangladeshis to do everything. So how important is that? Bangladeshi event, Bangladeshi presenter, Bangladeshi caterer, Bangladeshi manager, oh, that. Trump, it sounds wow, you know. <laughs> Bangladeshi <laughs> sponsor. <laughs> <laughs> I think pro sponsor. Sponsor, we don't limit. <laughs> 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 I was going to say the same thing. Sponsor, we don't limit. We're happy to take from <laughs> <laughs> anybody. But, but how do you think? What do you feel? 
I think that's good, yes, we are promoting ourselves, but, you know, if you take other opinions, if you do have to get involved with other people for certain requirements, expertise, expertise mm. we do, you know. Yeah, we do. If we can get it from our, who's, you know, from our background, from our last year, I think it's a good Why thing. not? It's very, very Especially, good I think I know Shalim, you know, I think you introduce him very good, you know. I think it will do amazing food as well, you know. It's Eastern Pride. Oh, Eastern Pride, sorry. Eastern Pride. <laughs> <laughs> well, ah, sorry, the sorry, the Eastern Pride. They're both equally as great. Yeah, yeah. 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 Very good. Now, let's get back to the venue, Mooj. Mm. Sure. Now, Alexander Palace, um, like I said, it's a venue, the Afran Zinkhu, Alexander Palace, if you've never been, uh, if you're planning or if you've been invited to come this year, Trust me, it's a venue to be uh, invited to. Um, it, is, it, is a, it is a landmark of a venue. Yeah. And uh, it is a venue that uh, we've, 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 in the past, moved around. We've been to various different uh, boroughs and using different venues. And we stopped when we came to uh, Alexandria Palace because it was a, a versatile um, uh, venue where it allowed us to really be creative. Mm -hmm. It's a wonderful looking uh, venue. And lots of parking and amazing um, the sculptures Same and designs. Is and it's, it's very nice. Uh, for, uh, Bangladesh or Tilata Kizala, they feel like yeah. 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 I mean, it's elevated. Bangladesh. It's on top of a, like a hilly yeah. place. Yeah. And in yeah. fact, you can see probably most of London from it. Yeah. So, what better place than to launch this yeah. iconic uh, publication? So, in yeah. the evening, especially, lighting is, is yeah. beautiful. Mm -hmm. And I think uh, you know, our event manager does a an amazing job. Mm -hmm. I mean, media link, they're an amazing the decoration. Yeah. Absolutely. I mean, our challenge is to keep it different. Do you know media link? Who are they? <laughs> 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 um, to, to be honest, yeah, um, it is a team effort. And I, I keep on saying this, I've said that in the past. There are so many people who are behind the scene and they actually contribute. Mm. And uh, we spoke about Goni Bai, who is Shadow's father works immensely hard even today earlier when you said we need footage we need etc this this chap in the background running Sorry. around yeah. and it is really people like him that make the difference because they're they're the, they're the ones that are putting all the strings everywhere and just making sure the entire team of is course. gelled together yeah. and we're all given responsibilities and uh, my key responsibility is to ensure that this gala dinner uh, happens and it happens uh, you know in a very prestigious very uh, glamorous way yeah and it, we have to have it in that particular way so we are able to promote and give respect to the people who are in this publication. We're saying that we take this seriously and you know, every element of it is done properly. And it's professional. So every Bangladeshi that walks in through the door, they feel proud that you know, this is a nice event put together by British Bangladeshis yeah. and we feel proud to be part of that community. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Now, Shadda, let me have some last words from you. Last words. Obviously, I want to thank you and Channel Life for inviting us to your program, Community Champions. Uh, I want to thank the panel, I want to thank all of our sponsors, our supporters, our well-wishers, all of those who've, made, who've done every little thing possible for this publication to become what it is today. Uh, and I just want to say that if you're not in it, please nominate yourself and nominate someone else for next year's edition. Mm -hmm. And whoever will attend uh, this Thursday for the gala event, we really look forward to seeing you and we hope that you enjoy the event. Absolutely. I would like to thank you to the team working behind and at the front, um, everyone. And, and same, I'm looking forward to see everyone. Uh, my best wishes for Shahada as well as your team. Thank you. And uh, yeah, congratulations again for the eighth event. It's going to be eighth, seventh? Seventh. 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 Oh, I'm, I'm one year exactly. ahead, yeah, 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 yeah. but I think I'm looking forward to the tenth, actually. So. <laughs> You're coming. I will be, hopefully, yes. That's, that's good. Yes, inshallah. Last word. That's what I'm very looking forward to come to this, uh, probably bring my family over. Absolutely. And probably I'm going to uh, nominate a few friends, which I know they're just like me, don't want to be in the first, but they are really well, deserve, next year. To, next year, next year. deserve to Definitely. be in this book. So I'll nominate a few and it's good work. Keep up with it. Thank you. Last uh, word, Mooj? I'm a bit nervous now. You, you, you <laughs> raised the bar now. <laughs> uh, th this year, um, I'm very confident we'll have a fantastic event and uh, it'll be really nice to see everybody together in this lovely venue. Uh, just before uh, we go, I want to thank uh, Zaki Bai because I know um, this year especially you've given a lot, lot of your time and it really made a difference. And inshallah, this uh, Thursday, uh, everybody that comes to the event will see that uh, it's a very different event from last year. Thank you, thank you very much. Now, uh, dear viewers, I hope you enjoyed this program. I hope you enjoyed our discussion on the British Bangladeshi Who's Who. Now, um, I'm Mr. Barbara Poises, and this year the, the event, the gala dinner, is on the 13th of November, this coming Thursday in Alexander Palace. Now, Afanadun, a invitation for Yatahoin, and fantastic, then you are one of the lucky ones. Invitation for Yatahoin, then you need to work hard, 
and make sure that you're on the invite list for next year. If you're in the publication, then definitely you deserve to be in this. If you're not, then again, you need to find out why you're not in this. If you're not being nominated by someone, then you need to get yourself nominated because everyone in our community deserves to be recognized and acknowledged for the hard work they're doing for us and for the society. And finally, my last word is, please support the British Bangladeshi Who's Who. This is a fantastic initiative. This is for us. This is for our future generation to know what we have done in our time and for them to aspire, for them to look up to us and be part of this for the future. And we want this publication to continue for as long as we can. You know, Shadow's not going to be here all the time. I'm not going to be here all the time. Mujib's not going to be here all the time. We need our future generation to be part of this and to take this forward and make it better and more glamorous and more entertaining as ever. So please support us. If you're going to be there on the 13th, we look forward to seeing you there. Until then, assalamu alaikum, good night. <laughs>